Hi, my name is Lorena O. English, and I'm a librarian here at Washington State University. And what I'm going to show you now is how you can find and download ebooks so that you can read them on your computer or you can um, save them and read them on an e reader like a Nook or in some cases a Kindle or a Sony or even a smartphone if you have the software installed. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a search for Atlantic, whoops, let's try that again, salmon. And I get a bunch of results, and I want to narrow them down to ebooks. Now we have a wide variety of ebooks, so I'm focusing this class, this lecture, this screencast, particularly on ebooks that are available that can only be read using software called Adobe Digital Editions. And these are full books, usually from, as you can see in this case, major publishers. So let's go ahead and look at Atlantic Salmon Ecology. So I'm looking at it, and it looks like something that I would be interested in. So I'll look a little bit further. And we've taught you for a long time that you should always look at Find It at WSU, but that's not the case here. I want to look a little bit further to this online access link. And this is what I want to do in the case of ebooks as opposed to journal articles. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you can see in this case, this is an ebook that we get through the Orbis Cascade Alliance. That means we're sharing it with other libraries in Oregon, Washington, and also the University of Idaho. So let's go ahead and find us. I'm going to log in to Washington State University and click on Go. And now I have to log in with my network ID. So we'll do that. Once I've done that, here I have information about the book, and you can see I can look at the table of contents pretty quickly, and if I've looked at this before, I can look at bookmarks that I have saved, and you can see I've saved a couple right here. I've looked at this one before. When I logged in with my network ID, I also logged into this particular service. So you can see that I have a bookshelf where I might have books that I've saved, and I also have particular collections that I, that I might want to do. So I'm going to go back to where we were and look at our particular book. And I can add this to a collection, I can cite this, I can do various other things. But right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on Read Online. And you can see it's loading. Now a lot of times there actually is no reason to download a book to an e-reader or a smartphone or even an iPad because you'll find that reading it on screen is actually giving you a lot more functionality and affordances. It's pretty easy. You can see I can just kind of click the pages one by one and I'm able See, it actually goes pretty fast. There's a lot of blank pages here. And I'm able to copy or print, and I get an allowance of pages that I can copy or print um, every day. And I can look something up in the dictionary and even read it out loud if I want. So I have a lot of options. And you can see a little bit of information there about my table of contents. I can uh, search this full text, which is very nice. I can look at notes that I've created. But in this case, just for the purpose of this video, I want to go ahead and download it. So you'll notice that it requires that I use something called Adobe Digital Editions. Let's take a look and see what this is about. If you don't have this already, this is a special program that you need to install on your desktop. And if you have a uh, e-reader or a smartphone or a tablet, you can also install this on those or use software that includes this. And I have a little bit more information about that on the live guide that you found this on. But what I need to do is I need to install this on my desktop computer. And in order to do that, I need to create an account. And once I've created an account, I can install I can install up to 10 devices using the same account. So that could include my desktop computer, my smartphone, my e-reader, whatever I wanted it to do. So we're just going to go ahead and assume that we've already created our Adobe ID and we've installed Adobe Digital Editions. So we're going to go back to where we were. And you'll also see that I can choose my loan length. And this provider, EBL, this lets me either check out a book for one day or seven days. Now, if I get a book from this provider, if I check out, choose one of these two options, I can't change my mind. If I select seven days, but it turns out I only need it for three days, I'm actually unable to return it any earlier. Some of our other providers, such as eBrary, actually give us the ability to end our loan early so the book is made available for other people. Because once I've checked this out, no one else can check it out until I return it. So we're going to choose one day. Now we can download the book. And you can see I have two formats available, a PDF or an EPUB. If I'm going to read it on my desktop, 
It really doesn't matter which version of these I use, PDF or EPUB. However, if I intend to read it on a smartphone or on a Sony e-reader or on a Nook, I want to choose the EPUB option. That will allow me just to uh, have, have the text flow so I can easily swipe pages and makes it a lot easier and a lot more fun. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the download button. And once I do, you can see I'm using the Chrome browser right now. So down in the bottom, you can see I have this little URL link. This is a token. This isn't actually the book itself. What this actually does is this is a token that will open up Adobe Digital Reader and install the book on my desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, normally, if you weren't using the Chrome browser, this would save this on your desktop or your downloads folder or wherever files that you download from the internet are saved. We're just going to go ahead and double click it. And what that's going to do in a second is, uh huh, here we are, open up Adobe Digital Editions on my computer. And you can see I've downloaded it right here. And if you are doing this for the first time, it went ahead and opened it. I'm going to go back over here to our library so we can take a look at this a little bit. Um, if uh, if you're doing this for the first time, well, hopefully if you've installed Adobe Editions, you've already went ahead and set this up. Now you can see I've used this book in this example before, and this was kind of a little bit sloppy for me to actually leave these up here because they're expired and it's just taking up space on my computer. So let's go ahead and delete this old item. So it's just a little bit tidier. All right, but this is the one that we have checked out, and you can see it tells me that I've checked it out on the 23rd. It has 500 pages, and I only have it for 24 hours. And I can go ahead and look at books that I've borrowed. Looks like that's not quite working here, but there's all my books. Okay, so what do I want to do if I want to actually read the book? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this, open the item. And here's my book. And you can see that the view of it is actually a little bit different from the view that we saw on screen. And that's what I mean to say when uh, I tell you that it's actually easier sometimes to read the book on screen than it actually is um, on, on, on your computer. It's actually a little bit nicer. But there might be times when you would want to read it on your computer because it might make it easier to, to save information, etc. So at, at this point, that's what we've done. We're not going to talk too much about actually using this in, through, digital, through Adobe Digital Editions because that's going to be another screencast. But I just wanted to show you how to download it. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to my library view, and there's my book again. And when I'm finished with it, after 24 hours, it will change to say expire, but it's going to stay on my computer. And if I want to be tidy and get rid of it, you can see I can do it this way. Remember. Uh, with because I got this from the EBL um, ebook service, I'm not able to change this date. Um, otherwise, with with some computers, with some uh, ebook vendors, I can click on item information, and it will give me an option to return my book earlier so that another student can check it out. But this one does not give me that option. Okay, just want to remind you that. Um, this is how you can download ebooks, and you have to have Adobe Digital Editions. And in most cases, you're going to find that Adobe Digital Editions is not available on WSU computers because you actually have to have an ID. It has to be linked to your particular ID in order to use it. Just to show you this, if you ever want to disassociate yourself or to sort of disassociate this the Adobe Digital Editions from your ID, all you have to do is click on the Control key and the Shift key and D. And this will allow you to deauthorize the computer. Um, it's a little bit different for Macs. I think that's uh, the Control key and Shift key and E. But I want to cancel this because I don't want to deauthorize this. And uh, there will be other screencasts available that will show you how you can move this once you've downloaded it to a smartphone or a Nook and how you can actually use the functionality that is available through Adobe Digital Editions. But for now, we're done.